bringing children and families into our park to stay and play for a lifetime. Providing quality and affordable recreation that invites all to come out and play. Fostering partnerships that invest in forward-thinking, world-class facilities. And supporting innovation and welcoming new ideas from those we employ and serve. Chicago Parks are your parks. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Mike Kelly. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Roses, my mother and I, for her 80th birthday, I decided to give her a rose named after her. Rose for you, these are your Catherine Graham roses. The story begins with a gift from a daughter to her mother. Lily's generosity also included the rose garden at Grant Park, and the Catherine Graham rose is now a favorite in our often difficult climate. In 2009, we gifted it to the Grant Park Rose Garden, where we are now and the Botanic Garden in uh, Glencoe, the Chicago Botanic Garden. So both gardens in Chicago have the Catherine Graham Rose. This rose has performed beautifully well in this garden because it is one of the first hybrid teas that was included. It's a rose that everybody loves and enjoys. It has fragrance, it has beauty, it lasts long. What we're so proud of right now is what's happened in the last four to five years. The Rose Garden has gone from okay, beautiful, to outstanding and stunning. Grant Park, known as Chicago's front yard, brings visitors from around the world, and many of them come to see the Rose Garden. Roses represent a time in history that is long gone, long past, that I think still holds a very romantic place in people's hearts. This rose garden in particular, I think, is especially stunning because it's in the middle of the city. It's immaculately maintained. It has really special old-fashioned roses that you don't often see in a city garden. We have a person here who takes care of them. I call him the magician. Rudy has the knowledge and the love for what he does. Anybody can do this, you know, but it, they just, they had the, the learning that the, uh, the right way, you know, plant the roses the right way, put the right fertilizer, water it, and, you know, give it love. The first bloom is in June, which is always spectacular. And through the summer, it blooms three times. That is July, the second bloom. And then when the cool weather comes in, like now, the roses are doing their best. What a location, what a privilege to have this garden in the best, the prime location in Chicago parks. What is it about our garden that is so special right now? And we think that in part it's due to the design of the garden because you'll see how the yew hedges have this like a backbone almost and they're a backdrop. So they provide this little microclimate that are I think protecting the roses and keeping them a little bit warmer and less abused by the wind. The Rose Garden is located at Columbus and Jackson, just west of Buckingham Fountain. If you're in the area, be sure to stop and smell the roses. Put all my experience and I try to make it very nice because, you know, people like to see this when they just came and look around things. And the Buckingham Fountain is back there. They come from there and they find the Rose Garden looking beautiful. But I love all my roses right here, you know. I, <laughs> I'm really proud of it. This garden is spectacular. Everybody should come and see it and enjoy it.